Hi, and welcome to another quick tip episode here on Willis Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to open up and connect your Arduino CNC machine to the Universal G Code Sender, hereby referred to as UGS. Then I will show you how to open up a G Code in the UGS and set your zero point on your CNC machine. First thing to do is to connect the Arduino to your computer and turn on your CNC machine. When the Universal G Code Sender is open, you connect it to your Arduino board through the COM port you find here. You select one of these speeds, I of course used the highest speed and I press open. When you get this message, you know your CNC machine is connected to your computer. You can test this under the machine control banner and uh, jog your machine. This way you can test all the axes that they are working on your machine. I have another episode in my CNC series where I explain how to download and install the UGS on your computer. In the last episode we exported a G-code file from Fusion 360. It's this file that I'm going to use in this episode. First thing to do is to open the file with the UGS. You do that under the file mode banner you press browse and you find the g-code file on your computer. By the way, last episode I said something wrong. I said 1000 millimeters per second. This is not true. It's 1000 millimeters per minute. So, sorry about that. When the file is open, you can open the visualize window. Here you can see the toolpath which is in the g-code file you just opened. You can also see where the g-code starts in the bottom of this this yellow stick thingy this is your zero point remember that we set this zero point when we generated the g-code file in Fusion 360 here is the zero point we set in Fusion on the edge of the stock if you see uh, the visualization the zero point is in the right corner of our stock piece like you see here in Fusion to set the zero point in UGS, we then have to place the spindle tool in the corner of the workpiece. And then lower it all the way down. I like to use a piece of paper under the tool and put the increments 0 0.1 millimeters un under the machine control on in the UGS and then lower it until the paper catches it. When that's done, you can reset zero in UGS. The software now know where to start the toolpath in the G-code file you just uploaded. If you jog the CNC machine somewhere else, you can just hit the return to zero button and the CNC will return to the exact point you reset as the zero. I have to tell you that I'm just a beginner at this and there are probably better ways to do this. That said, in the future I plan to set up a zero probe tool which makes it easier to set the zero point. But for now this is the way I do it. Now your machine is set up and ready to go. All you have to do is to press the send button and start carving. Please like or dislike this video, subscribe to my channel or join my Facebook page, Instagram or Twitter. 
You can also visit my webpage for more information about my projects like diagrams and pictures. Link in the description. I really hope this quick tip video was helpful and if you have any questions, please let me know about it. Goodbye.